Uh, well, my day usually begins um, about five in the morning. Um, I try to get up before the children and get myself together. My day starts at about uh, 6.30 in the morning. I get up uh, before my children do and I shower and get dressed and then I make breakfast for them. I wake up very early, well not still very early in the morning, usually about 6.30 and I have to prepare, you know, myself for school and my son as well and also his lunch because most times I give him a cooked meal. At about 6 o'clock I begin to wake up the children and get them all prepared for school. At about 8.30 or so we're ready to leave the house. We get to the center here at 9 o'clock and I drop them off. Uh, sometimes getting out of the center is not very easy because they don't want me to leave so I have to spend a few minutes with them. Then I go on to either a class or I go upstairs to the bilingual education office where I work. We all are out of the house by 8 o'clock. I uh, see the children, my two middle daughters, we get on the bus together but they get off before I walk to school and then I continue on with my youngest son uh, to Brooklyn College where he goes to the early childhood center. Um, you know after a day in school then I head back home with my son, try to get home before my children get home from school and start dinner or a little snack so when they come home they have something available to eat and then we get into homework, their homework and uh, after their homework uh, then we'll get started with dinner uh, then the clean up, prepare for the next day, the children go to, s to bed I try to study a little bit and catch up on housework and usually try to get to bed by 10.30 When I pick them up after school and I'm again I'm in a rush because I have a class that night I'm rushing them and I have to get them home and I have to hurry up and feed them before my husband comes home from work and I don't always have time to to enjoy them so um, I feel kind of bad about that it's always the same story when working mothers talk about their daily lives juggling the children their families and their jobs Despite the heavy burden for some of these women, the number of working mothers has increased rapidly in recent decades. Today, 64% of mothers with children under 6 work outside the home. 20 years ago, fewer than one-third of the mothers were in the workforce. More significantly, in 1987, for the first time, there were more mothers with babies under one year in the workforce than there were staying at home. What is especially important in our household is that my husband and I share responsibility for taking care of the children, which um, builds in an extra, an extra piece, extra assistance, and a sense of shared parenting, which has helped the boys to become very close to their father as well as to myself. My husband, thank goodness, is very supportive. He's helpful. Um, I mean, he complains, you know, there are times when he says, hey, you know, what about me? And uh, do you really have to go to that meeting? Or, you know, why are you taking a class that ends so late? Um, but overall, he's very supportive. And if he wouldn't be, there's, you know, there's just no way that I could do this if, if he weren't supportive. We've discussed everything that needs to get done in the house. And we've divided it. Um, we have switched off nights when the baby wakes up crying. One night I go tend to the baby, uh, another night my wife does. Um, sometimes when we want to sleep late on the weekends, uh, we negotiate with each other. You know, I'll uh, let you sleep Saturday if you let me sleep late on Sunday. It's a very interesting phenomenon. When we conducted the interviews, we found all the couples were satisfied with each other. But some surveys gave us another picture. The author of Second Shift, Arlie Hochschild asks a hundred husbands and wives to describe their approach to housework and child care. Some of his findings were wives reported doing 75 percent of the housework, 18 percent of the husbands share housework equally, 61 percent of the husbands do little or no housework, sometimes wives did less than half of the household tasks, but usually 
This occurred only when they earned more than their husbands did.